So let's take a look at Azure Import Export Service. And this is used for moving large amounts of data to Azure Blob Storage and, file, and Azure Files by shipping uh, disk drives directly to the Azure Data Center. And you got two options here. You can use your own disk drives, or you can use the Microsoft provided drives. And so uh, that's what their drive looks like. And they'll send up five of those to you. They're solid state drives, and they call them the Azure Data Box Disks. Uh, and you can uh, ship up to 40 terabytes uh, per order to your data, data center through regional carrier. So if you need beyond 40, you got to make multiple orders. And you can quickly configure these Azure Data uh, Box disks drives, copy the data to the disk drives using a USB 3.0 connection, and then ship it right back on uh, to Azure. And so in order to prepare um, these uh, drives, you're going to have to use the command line tool called WA Import Export Tool. And so what this tool will do is it will help you prepare your disk drives that, uh, uh, that are going to be shipped for import. It's going to copy your data to the drive. It's going to encrypt the data on the drive using AE256 BitLocker. Uh, BitLocker is the software that uh, is um, applying the encryption. And then it's going to generate out a journal file that you're going to be using uh, to import, uh, import uh, the stuff uh, for your order. And then it's going to help identify numbers of drives needed for export jobs. Uh, so there are two versions of WA import export. You have version one, uh, and this is for Azure Blob Storage, and then version two, uh, so this is for Azure File. So neither version's uh, uh, good or bad, it's just what do you want to import it into? And WA import export tool is only compatible with Windows 64 bit. So if you're using Linux or, or Mac, you're out of luck. Uh, so once you have prepared your drives and you've generated out that journal file, you're ready to create your import job. So the journal file stores basic information such as the drive serial number, the encryption key, and the storage account details. So the idea is that you're going to upload that file there. Uh, then you're going to specify a region and storage account. And so you'll provide shipping address information. And then, uh, so that is the import job. And let's talk about for exporting. So for exporting, uh, you will only export uh, from Azure Blob. I don't believe you can do it for Azure Files. You can ship up to uh, uh, 10 empty drives to, your, uh, to Azure per job. And you will create an uh, export job. And the data is loaded onto those drives and shipped back to you. Okay, uh, so there you go.